Hey there, pirates. Welcome aboard the Anime No Me channel. As we saw during the most recent episode of the One Piece anime, Garb faced off against and was defeated by Teach's crew, leaving him frozen and likely unable to do anything. Meanwhile, Luffy is fighting the Navy on a nearby island, completely unaware of what has happened to Garb. In today's video, we will talk about what Luffy might do to save Garb after recovering from the major events that took place at Egghead and what alliances Luffy might form to help in this rescue. I hope for your support to help our crew win, and to do so, you just need to click the thumbs up button Button, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. By doing this, you will win an incredible devil fruit. So just comment which fruit you want. Guys, the defeat of Monkey D. Garp by the Blackbeard Pirates is an event that shook the entire world. It all began when Kobe, a young and promising Marine, was kidnapped by the pirates led by Marshal D. Teach. Determined to rescue his protege and friend, Garp did not hesitate to challenge the might of the Blackbeard Pirates. Garp, famous for his incredible strength and hockey abilities, led a rescue mission to Hachinosu where Kobe was being held captive. Ignoring the warnings of Vice Admiral Dahl and disregarding the possible consequences, Garp set out with determination, accompanied by members of S.W.O.R.D., a secret unit of the Navy, and the courageous Vice Admiral Toshigi. Upon arriving on the island, Garp demonstrated his immense power by using his Haoshoku Haki to create a devastating attack called Galaxy Impact, which literally shattered a large area. The shock and surprise were evident on the faces of the Blackbeard Pirates, as Garp revealed his unwavering determination to rescue Kobe. However, the situation took a dark turn when Garp was confronted by Kuzan, a former ally and now a member of the Blackbeard Pirates. Kuzan, using his ice abilities, froze Hibari, an ally of Garp, and refused the Vice Admiral's demands to release Kobe. The confrontation between the former friends was intense, with Garp demonstrating his strength by withstanding Kuzan's attacks. As the battle unfolded, the Blackbeard Pirates attempted various strategies to defeat Garp, including trying to burn and stab him. However, Garp showed his cunning by using using captured pirates as human shields and his impeccable combat skills to protect Kobe from any imminent danger. The situation reached its climax when Avalo Pizarro, one of the Blackbeard Pirates commanders, attempted to crush Garp's ship and all the marines and fleeing slaves with his enormous hand made of rock and earth. Nevertheless, Garp's courage was not enough to prevent his final defeat. While fighting bravely, Garp was pierced in the chest by Kuzan's ice, leaving him vulnerable. In a final act of defiance, Garp smiled and delivered a powerful message through the Dendin Mushi reminding everyone that they were the future of the Marines, even in the face of imminent defeat. Thus, Monkey D. Garp, one of the greatest heroes of the Navy, was defeated by the Blackbeard Pirates. Now, Garp wanders frozen at sea, where many fans believe he has indeed lost his life. However, in Chapter 1088 of the One Piece manga, we saw that Marine hero Garp is reported missing after Aokiji delivered a powerful blow to him and began freezing him slowly, which is something quite similar to what happened with Saul, whom we know for a fact is alive on the Island of Giants. During the Ohara incident, Aokiji froze Saul to fake his death, but actually just preserved him to thaw later. And it was Saul who helped the giant save all of Ohara's knowledge, a fact confirmed by Vegapunk himself during the Egghead arc. Now, it seems Aokiji has done the same with Garp and will wait for the right time to unfreeze him in the near future. Even so, with the news of Garp being defeated by Kuzan, and this because of Teach, Luffy might do everything he can to avenge his grandfather, as well as stop Teach's plans. And then seek to rescue Garp if he indeed went through something similar to Saul. At this moment, Luffy could even expand the support of his own crew, recruiting skilled and determined individuals who share his vision and desire to defeat Blackbeard. He could seek allies on distant islands or among revolutionary groups that share his goal of defeating corrupt powers in the new world. This expansion of the crew would bring new skills, strategies, and perspectives, further enriching the strength and determination of the Straw Hats. Luffy already has an alliance of several pirate crews that joined his cause after the events in Dressrosa. Under the leadership of Cavendish, Bartolomeo, and others, they could unite forces to help Luffy in the rescue of Garp. Luffy has already established friendships with some former Shichibukai, such as Trafalgar Law, who seeks revenge against Teach for defeating and capturing his pirates. Besides, Boa Hancock is apparently also heading to meet Luffy to help him face Teach. Boa Hancock and her pirates would be willing to participate in this confrontation as they were also targets of Teach. The special affection Hancock has for Luffy would further strengthen this union against the Blackbeard Pirates. Another possible alliance would be with the Charlotte family. The Blackbeard Pirates invaded Tato Island and captured Pudding, providing a compelling reason for these two crews to unite against this common enemy. The mutual respect between Luffy and Katakuri would also increase the chances of a successful cooperation, even after the events in Wano. After all, the fight between Luffy and his allies against Big Mom was a fair battle, whereas what Teach did was not. 
However, before carrying out the rescue, they dedicated time and effort to gathering crucial information about the enemy crew and the pirates that compose it. This strategy had previously been used against the Don Quixote family and Kaido, proving vital for the success of their missions. Furthermore, Luffy could seek the guidance of important figures who share the same goals of stopping Teach or even saving Garp, such as the leaders of the revolutionaries or even the sword pirates who must also be looking for ways to save Garp. Unity, deep knowledge of the enemy, continuous skill development, and the exploration of strategic alliances would be the pillars of Luffy and his crew's preparation for the decisive confrontation against the Blackbeard pirates. Their determination combined with meticulous preparation and a well-crafted strategy would tip the scales in favor of the Straw Hats in their quest to rescue Garp and defeat the threat posed by Blackbeard. Based on detailed information about the Blackbeard pirates, Luffy and his friends would focus their training on facing Blackbeard's commanders each of whom possesses unique and powerful abilities. When all preparations were complete, Luffy would lead his friends in a decisive action to avenge and later rescue Garp. Luffy's unwavering conviction to save his grandfather and his strong determination would be crucial to overcoming the challenges and dangers they would face on Blackbeard's Island. The unity of the Straw Hats combined with Luffy's unbreakable will would create a powerful synergy that would propel them to overcome any adversity that arose in their path. In this way, the intelligent combination of strategic infiltration and determined action would form a successful approach to rescuing Garp, once again, demonstrating the power of Mika, the sun god, the god of freedom. And of course, with the movement of pirates aligning to defeat his crew, Teach might do what Kobe begged return to retrieve Garp, this time to use him against Luffy. With Garp in his hands, Blackbeard will understand that Garp is not just a mere marine, globally renowned for his past achievements. Garp is now an idea, a living legend, that inspires both fear and devotion in equal measure, making him very valuable and important in fulfilling his ambitions. With this sharp perception, Blackbeard will decide to use Garp as a bargaining chip to conquer Pirate Island and consolidate his control over that strategic territory, finally becoming the ruler of this mysterious island with great symbolic value. By keeping Garp under his control, Blackbeard will know that he can undermine the Navy's morale and discourage any attempts at retaliation. After all, Garp, a figure so revered in the Navy, would represent not just a physical threat, but also a symbol of resistance against piracy. Even so, I believe that the one who will save Garp is his son Dragon. I even imagine that Kuzan left him in the sea specifically to be found by the revolutionaries as something planned by him. After all, he protected Saul and Robin and seems to have a connection with Dragon, not aligning himself with Teach's ideals. But what do you think about all this? That was today's content. We hope you liked it and want to share your opinion on the subject. Don't forget to share the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and stay amazing.